What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. And by the way, thanks for rocking with me. Now, today, I am going to try to grab something to eat real quick before I head off to work. But the options for me today are looking like a plant-based burger. Plant-based burger. So I'm trying to eat healthy, y'all. I'm really, really trying. Now, about a month or two ago, I read an article online. They were talking about different plant-based burgers at different restaurants around me, you know, in Connecticut or what have you. The one I'm going to be going to right now, which is basically a place that me and my boy Jay, Jay, what's going on, sir? Salute. Um, We went to over a year ago while we were kind of taking breaks from studying in school. Um, Milford, Connecticut. Spot called... Uh, <laughs> Put it like this. They're known for beer. They're known for wings. They're known for restaurant type, bar type atmosphere. And pretty girls. They're known for pretty girls. Hooters. Milford, Connecticut. I had no idea they serve plant-based burgers. So we're going to get into this one. We're going to find out, is it really worth your time? Do you want to stop down and try to get something to eat? And as usual, it's a real review, so let's get into it. Here we go. And there you have it. That's Hooters. Now, I came in as soon as they opened, about 11.30 noon, roughly, um, because what I did read in these different articles about the burger, this is an impossible burger, by the way. Hooters, impossible burger. What I did read about this one is that when they cook their burgers, just like Burger King, they're on the same grill as every other piece of meat. So I figured I get down here early, I can get a, a burger that is not really touching anything else on the grill because they just opened and I was right. So my burger hasn't been touched by any other meat 
uh, chicken, beef, or what have you uh, while they were making it. Now, you can get the burger any kind of way you want. Um, the girl kind of... Hooters employs young people, and I get that, young women, and I get that. Um, but I think that if you're selling a product, you should know a little bit about it. She called it the Beyond Burger at first, then she called it correctly the Impossible Burger. She also said to me that it's not really geared towards people that eat healthy. Now what that means to me is that you guys are just serving it. I don't know if that's the case or not. So I'm gonna kinda ignore the comment. However, she did also say that people get the burger whichever way they want and they can put anything on it including bacon. bacon. If I'm trying to eat healthy, chances are I'm not eating bacon. Let's think about that for a second. And guys, I'll tell you my experience walking in it was great. Um, they greeted me immediately. I believe I was talking to the owner, and I'm not sure if he recognized me or not. But he did give me um, a couple extra things that I didn't expect, including my drink. Because uh, I asked for a bottle of water. They didn't have any, which is cool. I get it. But he was like, do you want anything else? I said, yeah, let me get a Sprite. He gave me a spray because I don't drink dark soda either. Gave me a Sprite on the house. Jerry's still out with that one, but very nice gentleman. So again, thank you for your hospitality if you're watching the video. Enough said. Here's my bag. And it's a big bag for this little burger, I think. Taking it out the bag right now. This one, and here's the package, to-go package it comes in. They basically serve you curly fries. You get a brioche bun, toasted brioche bun. And, uh, you know, the impossible's in here. So let's open this bad boy up. And let's see what it is, man. So here's my impossible burger from Hooters. Um, as you see, I got onions falling off this one. I, I would have hoped that they would have actually um, sliced my onions and stuff thinner, but they didn't. So they're there. And all I did was really simple. He didn't put any cheese or anything on it. I wanted to get the full flavor on this one. Uh, lettuce, tomato. Of course, there's seasonings. And if you see the bun, it's like super soft. I mean, this is, it's a good looking bun. Seriously, this thing is like, butter baby it's like butter enough talking let me get right into this thing so i can get to work here we go
we know what happens when I get the clapping. Ready for that real review? Like the head, head go. First things first, I didn't really want curly fries with my meal, um, but here we are, curly fries. I'm not gonna eat them. Although they do look and smell good, I, I just am not in the mood for curly fries. I don't want anything on that level today. The burger itself, however, was put together at an okay pace. Uh, I mean, it, it was okay the way it was put together. I do wish that my onions were and tomatoes were sliced thinner, but you know they were sliced how they were, so it is what it is. I would have probably taken fried onions, I think, on them, fried lightly with with some kind of canola or something. But they were what it was. You know, I did taste onion in there. I would have was lettuce and tomato. Very simple burger. The texture, the consistency, the bun. Start with the bun. Very soft flavorful bun it, it was warm it was toasty i appreciated it the burger itself the patty was huge it was a big patty it was bigger than the bread so it kind of stuck out around the, you saw how it looked it stuck around the edges or whatever but it was tasty it was seasoned really nicely it was tasty um again if if you're a fan of impossible or even beyond um this is the kind of burger you want to get into i had um, one other one at this other place I went to, you might remember. The Impossible Whopper just happened at Burger King. Mm -hmm. I, I digress. This one is as tasty, if not tastier, than the, the Impossible Whopper. Which, to me, says a lot, because I think I gave that Impossible Whopper like a 4 out of 5, maybe? I, I gave it a really good review, because it was really tasty. This one, same situation. It is tasty. It's an impossible burger. So it's going to give you that that almost light, airy kind of feeling when you're eating it versus a heavy burger that sits on your stomach all day and weighs you down. This is not going to do that. It's going to fill you up, but you're going to feel different eating this kind of burger. I liked it. I did. Um, as usual, we talk about food. We talk about service. Service, spot on. The only thing... I spent $15 for this burger, which was actually more than the Beyond at Wahlburgers, which I thought was a lot. So for that being said alone, would I get it again? No. You guys got to do differently. You got to do better, man. Like we're spending twice as much almost for these burgers where a regular Whopper is going to be less than $5. Come on. I'm going four out of five with this one. I would have probably given you guys a five, except I can't really stomach, no pun intended, spending $15, $15 on one burger and some curly fries. Nah, four out of five. That's what it is. I got to take off and get going, get ready for work. But again, thanks for checking me out, you guys. Claude, Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm around. And thank you for rocking out with me. Y'all be cool.